Hello everybody and welcome to Train Sim World 2 and a welcome to Avignon Station with a um an interesting stop here. So we're gonna get the train set up quickly. KVB normal, TVM normal. Right, headlights to day running. Yeah, that should be all good. Uh, the remote tail light is off. We will go and fix that. Uh, uh, headlights off. No, where's our tail lights? Um, uh, they, they, do we have tail lights on at the front? No. And why don't we have them on at the back? This is confusing. Um, right in here, where are tail lights? Du, 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 du. Uh, off. Ah, there's tail. Alright. I am the blind. Uh, so, anyway, we are here in Thameslink, going to Marseille Saint. First it was W, now it's Marseille Saint. Let me go back to forwards. Uh, and we are in the 395. In Thames Link livery, which is pretty cool. Oh, I've got to put the pants up. Yes, I'm a genius. All right, we'll go CGRL. Pan up, shoes down. Right, mouse sensitivity is off the roof. All right, that's good. Okay, now we can go. No. Now we can go. No. Is the pantograph up? Yes, it is. Yes, there it is. All right. Uh, so, yes, Thames Link livery for the 395. I know I could have done it on East Coastway, but why not get some high-speed action in? It's a high-speed train. Why wouldn't you? So, yeah, it's a very nice livery. It's quite clean. I like the Thames Link livery as a whole. It's a very clean livery. Very simplistic. Go to full throttle. Nice. Got a nice long set today. Twelve cars. Lovely. I love this route. I love high speed stuff in general. It's really nice. Although at the same time, I do like low speed in 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 places. Um, like the Arosa line when that comes out. I'm going to be looking forward to that. And like certain intermediate speed, like um, Diesel Legends of the Great Western, when that comes out as well. Um, although uh, that has come out as I record this. Um, I'm recording this on the day it has come out. Uh, but I don't know, I might make a first look video. I mean, I had a quick look on the Steam page and it was mostly negative reviews. I'm still going to get it eventually, but it's not super pressing. I mean, the main thing in it for me is the 52 and the 31, because they are nice trains. And it's on sale, so I don't know, I might get it. Uh, anyway, focus on the task in hand. Uh, right. Let's. Get some screenshots. That's really loud. I'm gonna see what my um, volume mix is on. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that down. Let's just turn you down slightly. That right, should be good. Right, take some screenshots. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna experiment with different like different angles and see if that changes the um, click-through rate. Uh, anyway, uh, I've got some AI services down. I think I've just reused, I think this is the same scenario that I had the um, the ICE, the uh, Eurostar running on, the original Eurostar video. Um, and then I've just um, changed the unit to run on here. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. What I will do is I'm going to turn TBM off because I kind of want to speed a little bit. Um, 
you know, the speed limit here is 300, 320, but we're not going to get to that. We'll do what we can. Now, we're also we're not stopping at... Um, uh, what's the station called? Not stopping at... Where is this station? It's over here. At Arsenal uh, because why not? Why why would you? So yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh, I just said the same thing twice in a row. I do apologise. These are. I should probably start scripting these. Anyway, it's it feels a little bit weird plugging videos that are already made when you haven't made them in real life. Because by the time you watch this my first look of the Diesel Legends of the Great Western will be up. But then, also, by the time when, as I record this, I haven't made that video yet. It's, it's weird. It's confusing. Anyway. Should I plug... Nice. Should I plug something now? Uh, yeah, I will. Um, I plug the subscriptions. As the um, lights, cab light will turn uh, reading light on. Uh, so yeah, plug subscriptions. So if you do enjoy my content, make sure to drop a like. And also, if you really enjoy my content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, that's completely free, doesn't take a second out of your day, and it really means a lot to me. Trying to get to 400 is a small goal, which I'm only four people away from. I can tell you what, there's going to be more than four people who watch this video, and more than four of them are not subscribed. So if you do like my content, make sure to subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And yeah, and if you... If you do change your mind, that's totally fine. Actually, I'm not going to hide this. I've had a few people change their mind over the channel's lifespan. More earlier on, though. I had like 17, and then I dropped back down to 13. I remember the days when I was still in single digits. Simpler times. There was uh, one year where I uploaded one video in the whole year. So far this year, I think I've made about about a hundred. Not an exaggeration, but I've also privatized about fifty videos as well. So I mean, if you go back and look back in time, you'll see that there are quite big gaps in um, my uploading history. But that's you know the channel was created in 2014, and I did not load my first video until 2016. And all of the videos until the beginning of the beginning of last year are privatized, and some videos um, before that are also privatized. As, uh, uh, after that, privatized, like the Premium Terrarium series, I privatized that because it's a little bit cringe now. I privatized the Transport Fever two video because uh, the videos because it's a little bit cringe. Privatized the Portal two videos because they're mega cringe privatized. I'm going to go back and privatize quite a lot of them. Like the Garden Warfare 2 videos. They're very cringe. But yeah. Whatever floats your boat. It's waste. Wasteland. I don't know what it is. It's pretty cool though. Uh, and on other news really quite looking forward to the Erosa line. It's pretty cool. It's one of the many new things that's coming to Train Sim World 2. Powering braking. Yeah, and looking at the screenshots for the Erosa line, it, it looks so spectacular. It's, it is so beautiful. And, you know, that's going to be one of the first routes where I look out and I don't just see a plane. 
uh, I look out and I can see spectacular mountain ranges, especially in the winter times. It's going to look so amazing. And beautiful old trains. The um, G 4x4 dash 2. Stunning. Stunning. I'm um, actually, at first I was a little bit annoyed that they hadn't included the um, the EME, I don't know what it's called. The, I'm not even going to bother trying to remember. I don't think I ever knew. Um, the uh, EMU. Is the turnout modelled? No, why would the turnout be modelled? Um, yeah, at first I was a little bit annoyed that they hadn't put the EMU in. And then I actually was like, hang on, no, hold the phone. This is a slow route. It's designed to be done slowly. And this locomotive, whilst it can go up to 90 k's an hour, it's going to be a lovely, lovely thing to drive. Actually, it's, it's possibly the route that I've had the most... You know, it's just like the... Um, oh, here's one of the TGVs, and it hasn't loaded yet. Yeah, so it's such a lovely thing to drive. As is the um, 483... It was quite funny, I watched the live stream briefly um, for the Diesel Legends of the Great Western. I should probably ab abbreviate that. Diesel Legends of the Great Western. So D L O T no, D L G W. D L G W. That's even more clunky. I'll just say Diesel Legends. So um in the Diesel Legends live stream, it was really funny watching Matt you know, struggle to think of a reason. Is this turnout modelled? No, but this one is. Yeah, it was really funny uh, watching Matt trying to think of a uh, response to um, Sam saying um, about the questions that people keep saying. Why is it? It's just a money-grabbing thing. It was really funny watching his response to that. Because, oh, it's for those people who don't want to use the scenario designer. Great game dev, maybe not so much on the. Good at promoting things, but maybe they've over promoted Diesel Legends. I mean, really, if you have West Somerset Railway and all of those trains have previously been in the game. So I sort of sigh. I actually. I like what they're doing, but I don't think it needs to cost. 30 bucks, oh sorry, pounds, 20, 25, 22, 20, whatever it is, 25 pounds, 20, 20, 25, I don't know, but I know it's 28 dollars 50 where I am, and the routes are 40, 42 dollars, I think, 42 bucks, yeah, um, and so it's 10 percent off, which reduces it from 28.50 to ooh, 26. Wow, wait, that's so cool. Uh, just looking at our progress. Still got a quite a while to go. It's not not a slow train, but it's not super fast. No, and that's fine. I don't really mind. Are we not going downhill? This looks like it's a downhill, not gonna lie. That's definitely a crest though. Oh no, is that does that track go even higher up that hill? Oh, it does. But yeah, that's gonna be a killer. That's a screenshot opportunity. That is totally a screenshot opportunity. Look at that. It was nice. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's a really steep hill. I'll take another screenshot, why not? Nice. God, God, we lost so much speed coming up here. Oof. Hopefully it'll crest at the top of this. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be a crest. Dipped below 200. 
Yeah, but that's a, that's totally a crest. Speed up. Speed machine. Nice. So yeah. But as I said, I'm gonna get Diesel Legends. So why not? But I could have made it a little bit cheaper because, I mean, they already had the models ready. All they needed to do is put a different skin on it and make the um, the scenarios and the timetable. That's. And for me, I already owned the um, 08, the 101, the 45, 47. I already owned all of them. They haven't actually changed the route. So what, they, what they've what they done, you could do on the scenario editor and the livery designer. You know. What comes around goes around. I mean, there are some really exciting routes coming out soon, like Clinchfield. Clinchfield? Is it Clinchfield? I think it's Clinchfield. And, um... The Erosa line, obviously. I mean, if anything, the real money grabber should be the 38 stock that Rivet Games is working on. How oh, fast are we gonna go? Just thought I'd interrupt. Is this turnout modelled? No. This is one of the points where you can spawn on the track. I mean, not on the track, but like on the side. One of the few. There's only three stations, so they plonked in some more spawn points around interesting areas. Bit of a substation there. 38 kilometers until Marseille Saint Charles platform one we need to take half an hour doing this on a TGV roughly probably gonna take us about 40 ish minutes one of the longest reskin recap videos I've made in a while anyway. Here comes another TGV. In the disgusting in-wee livery. Don't like it. Hate it. Can we have a downhill, please? Please? There's been a lot of uphill. I want some downhill. Marseille's on the sea, isn't it? Mediterranean. Can we have a downhill? Stop going uphill! I wanna go downhill! That's an even steeper game. Not game, route. That's even steeper! Kinda wanna know if they've ever used the normal AC function. Because in theory, this can operate, this train can operate anywhere on the um, electrified network in the UK. Because, I mean, the CTRL mode, that's more just for the train to turn um, TVM on. But, have you gone the. You can use the DC and AC. And in theory, you could use the CTRL mode. You could use AC on the CTRL and CTRL on the AC. It would just not function to 100%. But I don't think that's ever been used. In some trains, it might have never been used. When was the last time you saw a javelin jutting up the East Coast Main Line? Just I don't know the Oh god frame rate. The um the javelins and the um Azumas, the IETs, whatever you want to call them. They just they don't seem they seem very foreign in the UK. You know, they doesn't look like a traditional type of train that you'd see in the UK. It it does it has a very distinct foreign feel, you know. It's oh, this is nice. I can sense the increase of speed. Now this is like a javelin. 
Oh yeah, I like this. Continues to be that steep for a while. I like that. Yeah, this is good. Let's get a flyby. Why am I getting dragged down? Getting dragged down. Why? Oh, now it's slowing down, going uphill. Oh god, that's... If you're going fast enough, you might actually take off at that point. It's such a steep crest. You know, there's another thing. There's a lot, a lot of people decided that they want to do route suggestions had so many people doing root suggestions. It's like... Yeah, you can dream about it all you like. You're not gonna get those roots. You look in the roadmap. They've got stuff planned for a while into the future. You're not gonna get... It's just not gonna happen. Someone's suggesting Metro North. It's Dovetail's already done the LIR. Metro North's probably pretty far down their list, even not excluding, uh, even excluding the stuff that's not on the roadmap. Uh, I mean, excluding stuff that is on the roadmap. Stuff that's so far down the track, it's not even on the roadmap. It's a Marseille depot, very unusual to see it empty. But uh, soon we'll be coming through Assemblons. Also, that, that's... That's not how rivers work. Just so you know, Dovetail. That, that, that's not how... Ri rivers don't go uphill. No, yeah. Ooh, March Madness. I'll have a look at what's on that sale. Not that... I buy stuff pretty much as soon as it comes out. I wonder if that means that if people like bought Diesel Legends straight after it was released. I wonder if that means that it's gonna get like um put straight into the thing oh. Anyway, passing through <laughs> Be an interesting sight to see here. Last time we got a javelin coming through. Uh, diesel Legends. Yeah, no, it's still on sale. Uh, but only 10% off. The Trains in World LGB is 25% off. Uh, plenty of the corridors up to 55. Oh, okay, gotta slow down now. Go min break, that should be enough. Um, Isle of Wight's 30% off, Hubs, blah, blah, and Munich Augsburg's 30% off. Alright, that's all. Yeah, if I'm just on the store page. Um, all the reviews mostly negative. Only 28% of the 14 user reviews are positive. Right, I've got to slow down a little bit more now. Where is the power change point? Not that it matters, I'm going to stay on CTRL mode the whole way through. It should be about there. I think we need to go down to 160, so I'll do that. In a sense, I am kind of excited to drive. Because, like, in Trans Pennine Express and the such, there wasn't really an opportunity to drive fast. Like, you could drive old trains, sure, but you couldn't drive them quickly. 
in, in a sense. Like you could drive 60, 70 miles an hour, something that I'll explore later on. Um, actually tomorrow I'll explore that in, um, I've got a video on the Trans, uh, not Trans, yeah, Trans, Northern Trans Pennine. I said Trans Pennine Express. Northern Trans Pennine. I'm doing that um, uh, tomorrow. Um, and I've got some other TPE liveries that I'm going to check out on there. It's just, I, I, I never really got the opportunity we never got the opportunity to drive quickly. Like it's always like slow, and even on the current route, it's never been a consistent 160, 100, um, like 160 k's an hour, obviously. Yeah. Oh god, I dropped something. I can't see where I dropped it. Good old phone to find it. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna sit at 160 now. So yeah, um, but I'm kind of excited just to thrash locos up and down because I, I like the idea of locos, especially diesel locos, and I'd love to put them in liveries as well. TGG for loco, because the only locos I've been able to put in liveries really are the um, the shunters, the German shunters, and they're no fun. Most boring things. Okay, down to one hundred and forty. Uh, pretty quickly, actually. Yeah, yeah, quite quickly now. Quite quickly, yeah, that's good. I'm surprised I made that in time. I'll go back to full throttle. Don't know you know you where. Right, let's just stick at one forty. It seems really slow now. Approaching Marseille. Actually, only took about 35 minutes. I guess we didn't have the stop at um, Axon Prance. It's weird how, you know, uh, like Rivet and the other third party devs, they always put all of the extra routes in. Like, they even put the Isle of Wight, a little section of the steam railway in. And then you look at Dovetail, and none of these other tracks are in the map. None of them are. It's just. They used to do it on, like, um, Trains in World. They used to have all of the other lines coming off, and now they've just gone, you know what, screw it. Well, I guess it helps optimization, because you wouldn't want to render something as a track. I don't know if it takes more um, processing. You've got to render something as a track if you're not going to be able to drive on it. If it's just like scenery, like a bridge or something. I guess that makes make it simpler. Big road. It'd be nice to have like a spark effect coming off the Pantagraph. I'll stick at throttle two for now. Just to get back up to one thirty. Nice. Coming around, got a 100 limit coming up, so I go min break for that. I have three Ks out of Marseille, and it looks like it's just around the corner. Take 40 minutes to walk, according to Apple, it'll take 40 minutes to walk this distance. 40 minutes. And yet, you know. Gonna do it in about three. Anyway, we can cruise at 110 for a while now. Strange, this seems so slow, and yet this is the fastest you can drive a car where I come from. Whee! 
slow. Right, go down to 60. Ooh, there's thunder outside. Got dark really quickly. Got dark really quickly. There it is. There. Ooh! I don't know if you could hear that, but that was really loud. It's... It's almost... Uh, when there was light, it was almost orange outside. It's always... When it rains here, it's always like green just after it rains. All of the stuff turns a really vibrant green. It looks like when you take a photo and you put all the filters on it, it makes it just makes it look like you've put a filter in. Someone's put a filter in front of your eyes. But then just before it rains, it looks... And like when it's really hot, it literally looks like someone's got an, an orange like a piece of orange glass and just shoved it in front of your face it is so orange here on hot days more orange than a trumpkin Right, pulling in to Marseille. 600 meters. And about the fastest someone can run. This looks so slow. Do these signs say garage? Gar what? Why does it say garage in there? Because a garage in French is a parking place. So I don't know. Unless that's supposed to be. That looks like it should be on a street. Uh, whatever. A little bit of power. Marseille station's a little bit of a weird one. It's like St Pancras got the original bit and then they just went, you know what? Make it bigger. And then just plonked it underneath a multi-storey building. There's a poster there that I'm going to totally fill out. Stop! That stopped quickly. I just said stop and it stopped. Stop. Right, we're going to explore this blank sign. Hey, it was a collectible. Paris Lyon, trois Oh, okay, the doors did a weird thing. You need to unlock both sides. That's really weird. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just go and manually close them all. That's a... There. Oh, you got to click on the door hitbox. Oh, I didn't notice that. you got to click on the actual hitbox of the door. Oh, what? Oh, you kidding. That's weird. Just little freeze in place. But these trains look massive when they're in this platform. Because, of course, the French platforms are really low, they're not on the ground. Anyway, we will. sit inside as the doors close and that is the end of the video so uh, thanks for watching make sure that smash like smash subscribe and make sure to share with every single person you know it was a joke uh, yeah i'll see you tomorrow on northern trans Pennine. see ya